Hey guys, Storm here, ready to answer your questions and show you the artistic way. Blazer12 asks, could you teach me animation? Well, Blazer12, I would like to tell you right now that the easiest way to do animation is with my good friend Paint here and a wonderful little site called Izimba.com. Wonderful and mysterious and rather confusing if you don't know what you're clicking on. So, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to do icon animation, specifically DeviantArt icons, because I don't really do many other kinds of animation, and I've been really wanting to do this icon for myself for a long time anyway, so I figured I'd make everybody else happy too at the same time. So, here you go. Um, so step one of my five easy steps for success for making animation stuff, think of what you want animated and draw the first frame. As you can see, I've already done that. In fact, I've done all of them. But as soon as you have that first one done, you have to think about how you want it to move. In this case, I have an eye movement and a small smile, as well as kind of like a giggle face which looks really weird, and a head bob, and it kind of adds another head bob in there, and it just goes right back to staring off into nowhere. So, you can either create your own icon, as I have done here with like raw animation, or you can use what's called blanks. There are a whole bunch of different kinds of blanks on the internet, a lot of which I'm going to actually put in the comments, or not the comments, but the description. And there are a whole bunch of different kinds. Um, there's the lick screen, the headbanger, the pokeball roll. Um, I don't even know how many there are out there, but there's a lot. And I like it that some people add their own flair to the blanks to make it theirs. And I just have to say right now, that's truly app applaudable. I actually really love it. And I like it that people are not just snagging stuff off the internet and making it their own. <coughs> Me. Like, all last year. It's fine. It's fine. My icon is fine, but I really wanted to make it my own. Thus why I'm doing this kind of an episode. Though I also did get the question, so I figured... Hit two birds with one stone. One artistic stone. So, okay. Um, step two, you want to draw out all the other frames and make them move. And, yeah, it's beautiful. As you can obviously see, I'm not going to be drawing in this episode, but rather showing you how to put it all together. Um, step three, you want to go to izimba.com and click on this little thing that's called click to load image and load your first image as you can see I've already done that because I've gone through this once already because I got really frustrated oh it didn't work oh well mm. so once you have your first image loaded you want to go to the third column here that says mix and go to frame animation and just click on it and as you can see, you can upload a whole bunch of files up to 52. Odd number, but okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to slowly, one by one, upload all of these files. So I'm actually going to skip past that because it's a slow, tedious process. So, Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've uploaded all of my files in the correct order that I want to the animation to go in. And now you just want to scroll down to the bottom of the page, click your speed. Most people use the most people. Most people use one tenth of a second, but for this animation I found out that I want one fifth of a second. Still looks a little weird, but I like it. And you want to click on infinite loop, otherwise it's not exactly going to work the way you want it to. And just press convert and go to the top and you have your animation and I had to fix it like four times but I finally have it fixed so yep that was actually step four as well sorry for not telling you guys 
Step five, you wanna click save this image to download it. And I just wanna add, this is a perfectly safe site to use. So like, do not fear. It is wonderful. And I would not hesitate to use this at all because I mean, it's McAfee approved and approved by all the people on DeviantArt. So I took their word for it went here and did many of these so yeah um, a few final notes I wanted to add DeviantArt icons actually have to be 50 pixels by 50 pixels as stated right there if you can barely see it it's really small and it has to be like a certain size like this is six kilobytes I believe that the limit is 21 kilobytes and something as simple as this wouldn't kill that but you might want to be a little careful the way you're doing it if you're doing like a raw animation or if you want to add like shadows and stuff like that um, I actually got ripped off by someone who went over the limit made me really mad I didn't get my money back but it's fine um yeah you can, this, like, this animation tutorial isn't just for icons. I'm not sure if I stated that or not already. You can use Zimba to make little loop animations, but you do want to use Flash or Victorian Geta. Gaetto? Okay. Whatever. Uh, Victorian G, I'm just going to call it Victorian G, is a free alternative to Flash. And it's, it's really weird. I actually just got it, and it's kind of strange, and it has a weird feel to it, but I'm, I've never had previous, previous experience with Flash, so I don't really have much to compare against. And that pops up, and then this pops up. Victorian Gallardo. Gallardo? Gallardo. I don't even know. And it's really weird. But I, I kind of like it, though I haven't used it for anything yet. Um, as I was saying, you want to use Flash or Victorian G for larger, longer animations and not little things like this that just go in loops. And yeah, other than that, you're pretty much set. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please hit the subscribe button if you really like this. Or hit the thumbs up button or whatever floats your boat. Please comment if you have any other artistic questions or you have any suggestions for my channel. Um, one last thing before I sign off. I hope to snag the time to do a remake of those first two episodes of this series, this artistic aid series. Because, let's be honest, they were ungodly long, and I hated them, my family hated them, my friends hated them, and I'm sure you guys did too. Not many people have, like, the stomach to last through 20 minutes of me talking to myself. And to you guys. I mean, unless you're, like, the game theorist, MatPad. He can literally do that, because... He actually has a whole bunch of information in that 15-20 minutes, and he can get away with it. I cannot, because I have very little information, and I end up rambling on, like I'm doing now. Um, so yeah, that concludes this episode, so thanks for watching, guys. Adios, guys. Storm out.